a very successful seminar in marine sciences. As we know, this our university is the marine university in Pakistan. And you know, uh, it was my first experience uh, to organize such a big international seminar. But I especially thanks to Higher Education Commission and uh, the Vice Chancellor of Aspilla University. It's hot here. So not only the weather, but also the, the atmosphere for these seminars. It gathers all the officers from government and scientists and uh, managers from uh, all kinds of people here. It's really good. I liked it. Because actually being a marine student and uh, being a marine scholar uh, because I have observed many times the resources along the Balustan coast especially in some places just like Pisni, Pasni, Gawadar especially the fishery resources they are very extending they are exploiting by local fishermen and even uh, some kind of hard type of uh, stabilizations just like they are making jetties and harbors they are totally unplanned so they are also caused uh, the coastal erosion, which is directly affected the coastal community. I think uh, this is the first seminar we had, and uh, we were planning it for, uh, for quite some time to get attention of the provincial government officials and the federal uh, officials to focus on marine uh, resources and coast of our province to develop and uh, sustainably utilize the natural resources, uh, marine natural resources, our university will do whatever possible about uh, marine sciences and the potential of, of, of the marine resources our country has and especially uh, our province has uh, with regard to the marine resources and how can we develop those marine resources, how we can protect them and how can sustainably we, we can use those marine resources for the betterment of the people of our country uh, in general and the people of Balochistan in particular. The idea behind uh, this seminar is to give awareness of new scholars and get new ideas to do more research in the field of marine sciences and uh, give a more collaboration between Chinese and Pakistani universities uh, particularly Luams and uh, give awareness of new scholars to do more research in the field of marine sciences. So this was the reason, just I wanted to let our policy makers and uh, coastal planners and developers to know how the other countries, especially the Chinese, they are managing their coastal and marine areas and their living resources. Definitely, there's a lot of challenges we have faced, including because it's a, it's a bit far from the Karachi. So we starting from catering, accommodation, transportation, and plan to organize the stage. We also didn't find so many things, but finally, because of our faculty members, our friends, our administration, uh, we really uh, thankful to our worthy vice chancellor. He was. Uh, always behind us, always support us in every step of the conference and uh, he was always there when we need uh, his help. Actually, the we main problem is the finance. Financial problem is given by the HEC. This is the great support for us. This uh, all has done by the Mr. Zephyrs. He has written these alls for our struggle, he alls and then he also uh, communicated with the vice chancellors for convincing to support these all things. So we mm, found the overcome up in this way. 
was my first experience uh, to organize such a big international seminar. But I especially thanks to Higher Education Commission and uh, the Vice Chancellor of Aspila University. Uh, they, were, they motivated me and the other faculty members because uh, they had uh, experience previous years. Uh, they had organized a two-day international conference. At uh, that time you feel a lot of problems when you have to work with inexperienced personals. But during this session, uh, the main positive thing was that my team was full of experience. They really work hard and make this uh, seminar successful. Pakistan or China, the Bermian Jo Mohede Hore, Usme Ye a step forward here, Taki Hamare Jo students at this university, Uzada Sazada. आगे जाके टेक्निकल तालीम हासिल करें, एमफिल करें, पीएचडीज करें। अब जब वो वापस आएंगे इन्शाल्लाह, तो इसमें ना सिर्फ इस सुबह का बलूचिस्तान का फायदा होगा, बल्कि जो कोस्टल कम्युनिटीज हैं, उनका भी फायदा होगा। बलूचिस्तान कोस्ट इस रिच इन लिविंग इन लिविंग रिसोर्सेस एंड स्पेशली which totally covers the whole coastal area of Baluchistan. So today's seminars, it will help the coastal planners and developers in Baluchistan and Pakistan. They know how to manage uh, the coastal areas because just like in China, they have divided their coastal areas into different functional zones. Vice Chancellor, Professor uh, Dr. Dost Baloch, he came to Pusan University in the summer last year. We discussed uh, certain sustainable development over the sea, especially in the Pakistan sea. I mean, it's a good one for the people, for the country, but still we need to focus on something, especially for, for protection, to uh, propose such kind of topic. So it's a good way for NASPA and our university to initiate something like this. Actually, this is my first time to attend such a kind of uh, international seminar. It's really uh, different things. Yeah, yeah, very uh, comfortable experience for me. It is very uh, a good opportunity, and initially, the first time for the uh, Aspera University to organize such kind of seminar. So not only the weather, but also the atmosphere for this seminar. Gathers all the officers from government and scientists and the managers from uh, all kinds of people here. It's really good. I like it. In this seminar, only have uh, uh, two, con two countries, uh, China and uh, uh, Pakistan. If available, uh, the, the second seminar may be in the next, next year. I invite more countries to attend the seminar. Just like the seminars, we have to focus on the future of our future on development of these resources. We have identified that these are the resources. We have to develop so that we can have a benefit of our country and our communities. In the future, maybe we need to we need more open discussion. I mean, the topics are nice, but uh, we need to you know, push everything to be involved in. So the face-to-face -face discussion should be really nice for, 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 for the outcomes. It's a good opportunity to exchange our opinions on the sustainable oceans and uh, coastal uh, management. Uh, in, not only in, in China and uh, uh, Pakistan, it's uh, like a global problem. So as we share the same ocean, so we, I think it's a very good opportunity so we can exchange our opinions and we can learn from each other between China and uh, Pakistan. We have signed many uh, MOUs with the international universities, especially universities in China, and we have said that that uh, MOUs were very much fruitful, uh, especially when we signed uh, MOU with Southwest 
and University of Science and Technology China, they gave us uh, for 50 scholarships. And uh, particularly with regard to today's MOU uh, with Central University, as we know that the government of Balochistan has declared Astura Island as a safe haven for the marine sciences and protected area. And when we discuss this idea with uh, our Chinese counterpart in the Central University, the Dean of uh, College of Sciences was here today and uh, we discussed this one to the government of Balochistan and uh, government of Balochistan is also appreciate this idea and uh, they also showed their willingness to be part of this uh, MOU. We have a recently signed MOU with Shankar University. It's a good, uh, in this way we can give opportunity to our students and faculty members, they can go abroad uh, to do their masters and PhD degree and they can learn some new kind of techniques, research techniques and once they finish their degree they can come back and they can apply the same techniques in their home university. I hope we can get a scholarship by this uh, MOUs and also we give the platforms for the agriculture and the forest to conduct research by the, our students in the specs of forestries, in the spec of livestock, our EVM faculties to enhance the students' training. We have signed a mutual collaboration between uh, Chinese University and Las Pelas University to develop a marine aquaculture, in, particularly in Balochistan coastline, and give awareness to uh, local fishermen for the conservation of marine fisheries and marine life. We achieve a big milestone. I am so happy that we bring so many intellectuals and there was very nice and useful uh, discussion about the issues raised uh, by the people and how we can overcome these type of issues in that part of area. When I in China, uh, I uh, suffer in the internet, I, I, I go to the website and see uh, some uh, brief introduction about the uh, Las Vegas University. Now I travel in the university, we see uh, new buildings and uh, many uh, faculty. I think it's a very uh, potential uh, university and uh, only one university has the more size. Before I came here, I knew little about the, uh, what was what, what lack about the uh, university in Pakistan. But now I can see it, it's a very good place to be here. Uh, we can see the, uh, the university students in Pakistan can enjoy very good education. Two characteristics really you know, touch me. You are young, very young, so many young faculties. The other thing is also very important, you are very much motivated. So those two things are very important for your university to have some high quality, high level uh, research, some consultancy for the government. Uh, I think in the future, uh, because the Spela University is a uh, uh, very uh, unique, unique university, the field of learning the foreign sciences in Pakistan. So uh, I think the university can do a lot of things in the future uh, about the foreign science research. Alhamdulillah, U.S. University is progressing very well. Our hardworking staff and faculty members, they're working day and night. Uh, we have uh, started uh, MS and PhD programs. Our student enrollment has increased. Infrastructure has been developed and being developed not only increased but improved the infrastructure, labs, laboratories, internet facilities, hostels, and also residents for our uh, faculty and staff in, within the university. We are planning to organize a two-day international conference uh, about uh, sustainable uh, marine and coastal development. Uh, we are working on it and uh, I'm also expecting from uh, the Vice Chancellor of Las Villa University, they will support us and uh, I hope our same team and same organizers, organizers so they will work with us very happily and I hope they will also make it successful our upcoming support. Our two countries collaborated in uh, infrastructure construction and uh, economic uh, corridor. 
So I think we not only collaborate in economic development, but also the scientific development. So I think we have a very good view of future. In the near future, um, my organization, uh, National Ocean Technology Center, uh, State Oceanic Administration of China, will sign uh, an MOU with the Las Valley University and do uh, and make uh, a marine functional zoning in the Baltic time. We have a future plan about to organize not only seminar, but we have planned to organize international conference for two days or maximum three days. So we have already planned and discussed. Of course, no one is perfect, but we will try to reduce these minor, minor mistakes and in future, inshallah. In favor of these type of collaborations, because the thing is, as we know that part of China is connected with their seas, they are working a lot. Like we can learn a lot of things from them and we can apply all those things in our uh, sea belt and we can make it better for our future. We had already opened a campus at uh, World. And that campus was very much successful, more than what we expected. Another expansion of our university is towards the Nasir Abbas Agriculture College at Dera Murad Jamali. We are in the final stage of acquiring a 500 agriculture land uh, near Dera Murad Jamali. And uh, in the future, we are also planning to have our campus at Hub, and uh, we are near to having acquiring a building in Hub. This is the beginning of the new era.